two, one, live. All right. So let's see how things are going here. Uh, hop over to my OSB side. Front camera looking good. Let's go over to starter with tick, which is the cell phone feed. Boom. Okay, guys, so this is test number three for today. Uh, not sure how it's going to you know play out but you know really there's no way to know these things until you start playing with them and testing them and getting it running because I do want to give this guys out I, I do want to give this out to you guys uh, you know and, and so we can have like a j daily chat in the morning of some sort or we can you know figure something out and I'm thinking, uh, we got some live chats here guys look at this got that fixed too and so hopefully we can get some uh, some things working and, and rolling here all right mike lazar i can hear and see you fantastic how's the volume you are badly out of sync well that is one thing i need to, to worry about and try and fix um i tried boosting my output to uh, 2,000 kilobytes per second. Let me see. Should be ultra low latency. So there shouldn't be any closed captions on this. However, it should have something. You are now in sync. Does that mean it should start singing? <laughs> I think that was just a lag uh, in the starting a uh, few sections, a few minutes of this, just to get everything together and get it on. Um, good. So now I need to start distributing this and uh, getting the word out there that I'm going to have a morning chat so people can actually get on here and chat with me. Um, I'm glad that I can actually, you know, see things. Is the chat size too big, too small? Do you know? Like, is it, is it uh, readable from your point of view? And I know that the, you can you you can probably hear the traffic outside. There's not really a whole lot I can do about that. I would not change the size of the chat. Good. All right. So stream URL. Let's copy that doohickey. Um. I wonder what I should do as far as as far as content for this. Do you, Mike, do you have any uh, do you have any thoughts, any ideas? Um, I know we were talking on the phone a few moments ago. Like I could do, you know, I could take this to a different uh, different camera, the uh, camera that I'm pointing at, and you know, tilt that down so you could you know watch me working on things. Um, and that, that 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 is an option. Uh, I could do this as an AMA. Ask me anything. Um, so I'm not sure where to take this, but it does seem like it has some promise. So I do think things are working out here now which is fantastic. Uh, let me tell you how annoying it was earlier today not having things working. Now unfortunately the ultra low latency will also make it uh, not great for any things to catch up on during lockdown. Okay, I can start off with that tomorrow. 
Uh, I should probably write this down. Two, projects you can start and finish before downtime ends. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I'm also thinking about filming uh, at least three Manliest Mondays. One, uh, how to make bread. One, how to make some really kick-ass meatballs that I uh, I kind of stole like six different recipes and played around with them and got them really good. And it's all stuff I have at home, so it's really, really nice. And uh, so that, bread making and how to hold a plate, because uh, that always weirds people out. Um, if those are manliest Mondays, this is just going to be a live stream chat, so I could probably do all that. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? I could talk about my strange affinity for masks. Um, I don't have all of them here, but I do have a fair few of them. Three philosophy live stream. Ah, that one can be interesting because, uh, Hmm. Kids awake. Uh, that could be an interesting one. Does everybody know about your new mask? No, they don't. Um, that is going. That video is going live not this Friday. This Friday, I'm doing a uh, the stitching pony that I did right before uh, the lockdown started, and then the following week is the new mask. Um, but it, 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 it turned out really cool. I'm in the process of editing that video right now. And um, I had a discussion with uh, my wife last night about the music choice. And uh, it was too creepy. That's the <laughs> music that I chose. So I, I'm going to back off. I have to re-edit it real quick. Uh, and uh, she suggested classical video. I would look. I would like you to do a video on how to make a cheap, safe mask. I could do that. Um, even though those are all very, very relative terms. Because uh, cheap for me is, you know, I could, I have leather, I, I can, I, I, I can get uh, different uh, substrates as the uh, ventilation um and and but i mean so where does cheap come in is that you know under 20 bucks under 50 bucks under 150 bucks uh and then what tools do every does everyone have access to stuff the average person would have in their home okay i, I can do that i could i could uh do like a you know hand stitch something up real quick out of like old t-shirts and stuff um, you know, old pair of jeans. I, I have a couple of those that have holes in them that I've been saving for projects. Uh, might as well start doing some of that because I can do a lot of hand sewing. Uh, that's one thing I can do here. All right, I can do that. Um, let's see. I also want to do a project video on how to make a belt buckle uh, from home with stupid simple tools uh, basically a two wrenches or a wrench a pair of pliers and a file um, and you can make a small belt buckle down to about three quarter inches the smallest you can get um, maybe a hair smaller I don't know why I'm tired it's only five o'clock in the afternoon Okay, I can I could definitely do something like that though. But back to the that philosophy live stream. Break out the cello. I want to so badly, but I don't have it with me. Um the cello is still up at the in law's house. Uh I didn't want to risk moving it here while we were still, you know, unpacking and moving and shaking, moving things around. Um and there's still a fair few things I need to go through and unpack here on this side before we can do that. Uh, otherwise that would have been an excellent idea. Because, ooh, it might be too loud for this, but I do want to start uh, harmonica. That's right, I do have that harmonica. 
Uh, I was actually just going to say the um, ocarinas. I can play the potato ocarina uh, fairly decently. But my brother, two or three years ago, I believe, uh, bought me a nice, nice sweet potato ocarina. Actually, one second. Let me grab those. I am back. How many different instruments do you know how to make? Make. Ooh. Uh, well, I've made a flute before. I can make an ocarina if I have the uh, the right uh, clay. I, I don't right now, but you know that is a possibility to make. Um, this looks like it's just you know a nice. But this is the uh, sweet potato ocarina. It is Legend of uh, Zelda themed. I think he got this from STL, uh, which a lot of people don't know, but they're a really good ocarina company, and they have a ton of really cool uh, videos online. Oh, that has a nice sound to it. I don't know if that's too loud, uh, but that has a really pretty sound. Oh, my. I really do have to <laughs> have to learn how to play this because this has a really pretty sound. Um, and here's the potato ocarina that I have. Uh, you know, very simple. I think I bought this at Journey or Sojourn in the uh, the mall in Dixon City before they closed down. Uh, how many instruments do I know how to make? I know how to make eh, five or six, I would say. Um, you can do, I can make a thumb piano. I don't have the stuff here for it, but I, I know how to make a thumb piano. Um, I you know a drum's pretty easy. Uh, and then there's you know fifteen different 20, 20 styles of drums that I can make. Um, I can make a little little box uh, what, what is that called I like a box ukulele uh, what other instruments do I have to make ocarina I said um, I've made a flute before that was fun really fiddly getting the reed uh, shaped right and into the right position so I, I, I have great uh, great respect for people who know how to do that uh, and people who do play the flute because that is uh, that takes some lungs um, a door harp I've made one of those before those are cool uh, basically it's just a little clangy are there any videos you can make with Connor as a co-star hmm there are Sakar Sakar the cigar box guitar I can do that um, I don't have the materials here to do that but I can do that and uh, I would like to try that one day because that that is, that is something that I've had in my mind for a while that I want to do um, it'd even be cool if instead of just a full guitar if I do it do it as a ukulele and figure some way to make it as a tear down so it fits inside the cigar box when it's done uh, that'd be really nifty I think um, that, that's just my own personal though hmm but yeah those are all rather simple instruments what instruments do I play well pretty good at the cello um, 
I can play the potato ocarina. Uh, I, for a while, I used to pl uh, be able to play a pan flute and a reed flute, um, or bamboo flute. <clears throat> but I was an idiot, and I sat on the pan flute. <laughs> and unfortunately, and uh, kind of breaks my heart, but I let the bamboo flute dry out too much and it just shattered in the middle of the night. Um, that was my own fault. It was beautiful though. And I actually was able to use that to tune my cello uh, because it was in C, so I could tune C to C and then from there work off harmonics. Uh, that was really cool. I do want to learn how to play the harmonica. I mean, how hard can it be? But it is one thing I do need to learn. And, uh, for a while, I could play the bass passably okay. Uh, are any chance you would be able, would be willing to the YouTube's classic? I'm reminded of Wreck It Ralph 2 hot pepper eating. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what you're getting at, but I am interested. <laughs> uh, I think for that I would have to uh, figure out how to do my split screen. So you can see the food down here and then also see my face for the horrible reactions that I know I will have. Ah, uh, boy. All right. Are you willing to participate in classic gag videos yes i i've always found those to be kind of fun i actually did one uh two years ago three years ago with uh britney's little sister uh elizabeth and it was for her channel and it was uh b -b -b like a 20 dollars food challenge so we got 20 dollars. we went into the uh, supermarket and just found weird things uh, and the idea was to do a taste test uh, blindfolded. <laughs> it was embarrassing and cringeworthy. But yes, I, I, I am willing to do some, some classic gag videos, because uh, why not? Can you hear him out there? <laughs> he is not a happy camper. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. This 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 is working out pretty well. No? Good. What about traffic? Can you hear the traffic outside or is it is it pretty pretty quiet and muted? Look at that, three concurrent viewers. Well, thanks guys for uh, for showing up. No traffic, awesome. So, I think it's something to do with this Bluebell mic because I can hear so much. I can hear you know traffic outside like, like you wouldn't believe. Connor was screaming a few minutes ago in the other room. Um, so I guess this is just a really good quality mic. Uh, it's the Blue Snowball. really happy with it all right so I think I'm gonna end this test um yeah I think that gives me all I really need to know okay scroll up and down in the chat I don't see that no well I can scroll up and down in the chat pop out but I cannot scroll in OSB that's fine though, I could always go in here and do this later. Alright Mike, thank you for helping me out. I'll give you a call in just a few minutes and we can debrief on this and then get things set up. 
Thanks for helping, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And thank you for helping make this world better, one curve at a time. And I will see you tomorrow morning.